Armina. And the reason why it attracted me originally is because they offer wide sizes. So a lot of places I cannot buy shoes. That really sucks a lot of times because I see a lot of nice shoes, but I can't buy them. So this shoe is a perfect example of that. This is the first one that I bought. This is a chocolate tassel loafer, as you can see. Good, you're welted. This is an extremely nice shoe. The only drawback, as I mentioned before, I have usually a triple E uh, shoe size, it's like regardless of what I have. So with this being the case, I got a double E in this and got it stretched out. Now, with that being said, it was extremely painful. Um, the Goodyear welting, as any of you know, if you break in Goodyear welted shoes, is it is it does hurt your feet. Um, there's no going away about it. It does. It is painful. Uh, but I made it more painful on me by getting a double E thinking I could stretch it, which sometimes it does work. I have done it in the past and it's perfectly fine. But um, if I had to do all over again, I would have got these in a triple E. And the only complaint that I have about them is here in the tassels right here, you can see the glue. And I would assume in other manufacturers that have a higher quality than this uh, would not have that in their shoes. The second pair of shoes that I purchased are these. I really, really love these. These have a nice broguing on them. As you can see, it's a nice, like, burnt orange, orange color. And both of these shoes were on the forest last in a double E, and I had to have them both stretched, as I mentioned before. And the only thing that I would recommend if you do get these is I would say that in order to get the correct size, I would reach out to them first. These are the four slices I mentioned before. Uh, these are in a double E. See if they have a wider. They have the rain, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure the difference between the two of them, but I know they're both for wider feet. Uh, the forest is as well. So if you do wear a triple E like myself, I would strongly recommend getting the triple E instead of getting the double E and stretching it, which sometimes um, does work. But as I mentioned before, it didn't work in either one of these two shoes. And the Goodyear welting is, is definitely hard to break in because uh, it is not Blake stitched. The other recommendation that I have, these are my last shoes that I have here that I wear at my fraternity meetings is these are the black Carminas that I have here. As you see, it's a regular just black Capto Oxford. With these, I got the Triple E Forest and it is a complete difference. It's not even close. These are completely different. I really enjoy them. Uh, I didn't need to have them stretched or anything. The pain is a lot less from the Double E's. And if I had to do all over again, I would have just went triple E because that's what I normally wear. But like I said, I was trying to skimp by thinking that I could get it uh, with a double E with size that didn't work. Uh, the only thing that I regret not doing is buying uh, flat laces. As you can see here, these are like the regular. I, I would like to try the flat laces just to see if I like them or not. Uh, I've seen them on other people's channel, for example, Kirby Allison or tutorial talks and they really do bring a different dimension to the shoe and a lot of people do not use them so it's just something else with your outfit that kind of makes it pop you know make it look real nice and these are my review of the Carmina shoes that I have purchased and y'all have a nice day